Hey, I'm Hoosier Boo, and I am at the greatest earth on show, Kanab, Utah, and I'm outside of the Little Hollywood Museum. Uh, Kanab is called the greatest earth on show because uh, a lot of Western TV shows and all sorts of movies have been filmed in the Southwest landscape, and uh, they have a museum to that. Now, I don't really know movies, I don't watch movies, so uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing here, to be honest. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm excited. I love these little roadside museums, so uh, let's go check this out. Now in the front, they have a statue of a cowboy on a white horse. Is it the Lone Ranger? I don't know. I know that's a movie. But that is a really cool statue. Looks like they have some movie sets. This should be good. And also, it's really cool because it's totally free and it's open late. That's why I can come here. It's open till like 9 or 11 p.m. sometimes. All right, let's go inside. The museum also has a trading post with it. They have some Western actor autographs in here. Sorry, I don't know who any of these people are. So there's about 60 somewhat major films and TV shows, mostly westerns, filmed here in Kanab. Um, I know the original Planet of the Apes movie was filmed here. Um, Gunsmoke, the TV show my grandpa always watches on ETV, was filmed here. There's actually a movie set still standing. I don't have time to go see it, but I know where it is. Okay, this already looks amazing. Jackie Rife, hard fighting stunt woman. Jackie Hamblin Rife was a local here, and she was a movie historian. She was also a stunt devil, I guess. And she filled in roles. I guess she was in that one. Made in 1901, belonged to Glenn Hamblin. This is inside the Frontier Bank. Pretty much looks abandoned in here. It's not like set up in any way. Here's some elk antlers. Interesting. That's the old library stable. Doesn't look like it can go in there. Some old saws and this is the tack and feed. I can go in this one. This building was in the 1948 Black Bart movie. So, it's also looks like it's used for storage. Looks like they have the Mock Boot Hill Cemetery. It's based off the humorous epitaphs of people who got murdered in Tombstone, Arizona. It says, Stranger. Killed, wrong place, wrong time. Dancing Dave, that son of a gun, thought he was fast. He died with his boots on. There's some caskets, yet to be used. Wait, am I in the prostitute one? This barn was used in the 1976 movie Outlaw Josie Wales. Looks pretty empty. Got some old antiques in here. This is an old fireplace, and that's a Native American sweat lodge replica. Guess that's what they use as the equivalent of a sauna. This place is so beautiful. This wasn't really used in a movie, it's just to represent modern filmmaking. So yeah, as you can see, it's just a plain wall. They don't actually put anything in here. They just use the facade and usually tear it down. This is called the Vagabond Windmill. It was used in the 1996 movie Truth or Consequences New Mexico, which is a place. I assume that's a movie. There's a horse and a little Conestoga wagon. This was a set used in the Disney movie One Little Indian. Not really sure what the purpose of this building is, but it says Little Hollywood on it. 
I guess this is supposed to represent an Old West kitchen. Looks like they made croissants or leeches. I can't really tell. Some old tools and some Roosevelt Drive-In dairy milk. Here's some old farming equipment. This is the set for the homestead of Outlaw Josie Wales. If you think this is some sort of stone, you're wrong. This is actually fiberglass. And inside, they have some old antiques. I don't know if these are original movie props. Probably not. There's a lot of crosses in here. Again, I know nothing about the movie itself. It's just so interesting how they just took all these old movie sets and plopped them down here. It's like Greenfield Village in a way. This was in the 1990 movie Desperate Hours at the Ranger Gate of Zion National Park, if that makes any sense for anyone who saw it. And inside there is a bench with some big bricks on it. Now I'm going to go take a look in the saloon. Maybe get a drink too. Oh no, it's a trap. It's actually the jail. I'm not sure what this is doing here. Some sort of jaw. And this is a horrifying wax figure. It doesn't have any eyes. I got to stick my fingers in. <laughs> this is actually horrifying. This poor man has no arms. I'm not sure what is in his mouth. And this guy has no face. This was the gun port from the movie Sergeants 3 with Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin and Sammy Davis. I guess sometimes they actually will play some old movies in here. Okay, not really sure what this is even supposed to be. It's got a bed frame. Some old rusted stuff. And this was the backdrop of a Kenny Loggins, don't know who that is. 1991 concert at the Grand Canyon. So that's Little Hollywood Museum. This is awesome. You know, it's kind of run down. It's not in the best shape, but I love that. I love these museums that are just out there full of junk. And you know, these pieces do have historical importance. And it's just Old West kitschiness that I love. There aren't a whole lot of places like that. Um, but anyways, if you like roadside attractions and museums, you should go watch all my other videos and uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching.